today we will discuss about the so operational modes operational modes so it's a one of the small topic it's a one of the small topic here operational modes so what is mean by operational modes here so normally in some systems in some systems we don't have in some systems if we don't have the uh, enough resources suppose example so uh, dialog dialog work process so background work process suppose if you want to increase we don't have enough resources means suppose if you want to increase the memory what we required we need the some uh, if you want to increase the work process we need the memory right so we don't have the memory already system 90% is utilizing in that case what we have to do right so in that case what we have to do so in this case we can utilize existing resources we can utilize the existing resources to convert from dialog to background background to dialog sir is it required the restart no it's not required the restart it's a dynamic converting a dynamic switchable so that's the reason sap introduced the one of the small topic is called the operational modes so using this operational modes we can convert <coughs> dialog work process to btc then btc to so dialog we can convert it yes sir what is the reason for converting so it's not always to convert it here it's a optional so which means so if you have the requirement you can convert it here if you don't have the requirement no need to convert it here just to keep the system like this here no need to touch it here so what is the purpose here what is the advantages of having utilize this concept here so normally in every sap system during the peak hours peak hours means during the business hours during the business hours during the business hours so more users <coughs> so during the business hours during the business hours normally we will call it as the peak hours right peak hours so during the business hours so we have more users right more users will be logged in and that time we need more dialog work to process then less btc enough why because that time during the morning hours means this time we don't required much btc work to process so we need the more dialog work process why because to convert to convert uh, why because during the uh, morning hours means during the business hours more users are will log in so if you have the more dialog work process system can handle the load no need to change the parameters no need to restart the system all those things are not required here all those things are not required here so that time we have the more btc work process so we can utilize them we can convert that btc work process to dialog so we can convert it here by using the operational mode concept so we can convert the btc to dialog mode we can convert it so suppose example just take the example of the concept here so morning so every so we have the so 10 dialogs right so suppose like 6 btc work process are there right so this is the system allocation if you want to increase the users are more if you want to increase the work process what you have to do if you want to increase the work process what you need to do you need to so increase the work process then you need to restart the system but it's a my production system restarts are not allowed always right so definitely there is a business outage for the restarting in that case what we can do we can we can convert we have the why because it's a morning hours 6 btc it's not required why 6 is required in the morning hours so what we can do we can convert dialog 10 plus so remaining 3 maybe 4 4 we can convert it so 2 are there here 2 btc are there so then so these two existing jobs can handle remaining four, 10 plus four, then 14 dialogue work process are available during the peak hours. So without I am restarting, I am converting 
my dialog work process to btc when i am converting my btc to dialog mode this process is called the so operational mode concept here so we are utilizing the existing resources same same so during the non business hours during the non business hours means non peak hours non peak hours here during the non peak hours so we need we need more why because jobs always jobs will execute during the night hours only means non business hours jobs we need so more so more btc btcs why because always in every time every if you see the real time systems always our jobs will execute only night times night times jobs will execute maybe if you see the salaries or payments anything all the jobs will execute only during the night time only night time more jobs will execute why because that time no users we have the btcs we can utilize right we have the more btcs we need more btcs then less dialogs less dialogs here in this case in this case so in this case same concept here we can convert it right why because we have only six then we have the 10 dialogs why 10 dialogs in the night time we can convert it to the we can convert in 10 dialogs make 50% like five dial five we can convert it to the five dialogs we can convert to the btc then 10 plus 5 11 work process here right then so btc so so B, so dialogs dialogs are five here right so why because night time less users will log in like okay? night time night time means no users will log in there is no business activities during the night hours right so that time we don't need much dialogs here so we can convert it here the basically the main aim of this operational mode is so converting existing btc work process to dialog mode and dialog work process to btc mode we can convert it using the operational mode concept we can convert it here so without any restart without you no need to increase the capacity we can convert it so why suppose if you see our system suppose if i log into the our uh, <coughs> our ecc system if i log in so if you go to the sm50 if you see if you see we are here five and five so in that only one user is occupied the remaining five are free now it's a business queue business business hours business hours so we need more users here we need more users here we need the more users to log into the so ecd system right we need the more users here we need the more users here so then in this case what i can do here five plus five are there during the now with business hours business hours we don't required five btc we can just keep the two or three will be e three or three will be so handle the existing jobs remaining three we can convert to the so dialog means 5 plus 3 8 8 dialogs we can convert it so eight dialogs means eight work dialog work process will handle the load right so then then at the same time at the same time what we can do we can just go to the some other <coughs> so night time also night time also no users will log in that time more background jobs will execute right so this option we can utilize it here right basically utilizing the existing resources existing work process to handle the to take the responsibilities of the so this work here right so that's why we have the operational mode small concept here in this case we will use the transaction codes is called the rz03 rz04 then so sm63 for time mings assigning timelines assigning rz04 is for the operational modes creation here right so how to create this operational modes here if we go to rz04 here rz04 so let me so night time right night time we have 7 3 right so let me delete it here uh, let me delete it all those things here already someone created so just what i am doing is i am deleting here so i have deleted all those things here okay so here rz03 i can 
So nothing is defined. Why? Because I deleted everything here. Let me delete all. Okay. RZ04. So what I am deleting is so day mode, operational mode is called the peak hours. Peak, peak time. So here, peak hours, we need the uh, <coughs> we did the peak hours. One is the peak hours operation modes. Then one more one more operational mode I am creating the so non-peak hours. Non-peak hours means non-business hours here. So two operational modes I have created here. So then peak hours. If you go to the peak hours. Just click on the create the new instance here. What is the host name here? What is the host name? SAP Windows 1. SAP Windows 1 here. SAP Windows 1 here. Uh, just give me a minute and get in the car. Yeah, so here we need to select the host name, then instance number, instance number wrong, we selected. So then, so here the instance number is the 30 here, right? So here you can see 5 plus 5, right? We have chosen this one here. Then click on the save button here, right? So here, so in the, during the peak hours, what is the operational mode you are going to select? Peak, right? Peak hours. So peak hours, so that time we required the less BTC. Then you can just click on the minus button. Minus button. Then, so plus button. Plus button. Right? So in two work process, two BTC, I convert it to the, so dialog mode here. So right? Means five plus two, seven. Right? So peak hours. Then, so... Save it here. Other work process. Then what we can do now go to the non-peak hours. So during the non-peak hours time, we don't require the this many dialogue work process. Then we can just decrease it here. So during the non-peak hours, we have the more jobs. Then we can increase the so BTC here. Right? Just click on the save here. Right? So just click on the save button here. So now you see, so peak hours means morning hours, more dialogues, less BTC. So night hours, less BT, less dialogue, so more BTC work process here, right? So count means existing one I am checking here, existing one I am checking here. So this way I have created the mode here. I have created the mode here. Now I will go to the SM63, then I will use the so concept here, I will use the, this uh, timelines, timelines, I will assign it here. So now, so 11 o'clock, right? So now it's 11 o'clock system time 11. Then 11 to normally business hours is the, so 10 to 6, right? I can make it like 11 to, then 11 to 9, line hours are the, so here, so peak hours, right? Then, so night mode, night mode at what time it will start? 9 to, again, morning 11. So just I'm assigning here. So what we can see, it's a non-peak hours, non-peak hours. So, so during these hours, during these 24 hours, based upon this selection, based upon the, this peak hours, so it will decide the, how many work process you want to allocate, how many work process you want to allocate it. So here, you can go to the RZ03, RZ03, it will show the status active or not. RZ04 is the operational modes creation here. So peak hours means 11 o'clock, 11 to 21. 
during this time during this time peak hours seven dialogues three btc three btc three dialogues so like this the operational mode concept will happen here so let's go to the sm50 here sm50 here see here while i saved and saved it then without restarting the system see my btc are changed my work process got changed already changed while just saved it while coming to the screen automatically my operational mode got changed to the so seven dialogues three btc so now if you observe it during the night time again rz04 as per the timelines let like nine o'clock night nine o'clock automatically it will switch to the non-peak hours here automatically it will switch to the non-peak hours again right so suppose example if i go to the rz03 again so i will manually try to change the operational mode here so manually also we can switch switch the operational modes we can also we can switch the operational modes here all active servers here switch the operational modes the already peak peak is there it's already changed here peak so we no need to do it again so so it's already changed so it's no need to change it again suppose it's a night time if it's a night time means again i have to go to the rz04 i need to change the timelines again i need to change the timelines again but if you wait for some time up to system time nine o'clock automatically so automatically this work process status will change it to the automatically the work process will change it to the so dialogue mode to so non-dialogue it will change it automatically it will change it here so now see without restart without parameter changes so automatically system will convert dialogue to background dialogue dialogue to background then background to dialogue all work process will be converted here right are we doing any changes here any restarts nothing right so this is the one which we have the concept that's why sap introduced the operational mode concept so without any restarts without any additional resources additional memory we can convert our existing resources from one to another we can convert it here right so this is the operational mode concept here okay so any questions anyone small concept so it's not like that everybody should use this concept it's a small concept so it's just uh, depends upon the activity depends upon the customer usage they will go for this activity otherwise no some customer they don't prefer this uh, this option here they will go for the permanent wise changes are permanent or temporary sir? yeah it's permanent it's changes are permanent it's a every day it will change it until you go ahead and delete the entry here so until you go ahead and change the timelines so every day this for the as per this timelines the changes will happen automatically you no need to do anything here during the operational mode switch once the now 11 o'clock 11 o'clock that's why automatically the change happened when the nine o'clock started when the nine happened night 9 p.m then immediately non-peak hours non-peak hours means what is the work process three dialogues more btc will run this will happen automatically only dialogues the btc it's permanent you thought any if you do the if you if you restart it if you delete the entry it won't happen so you have to keep like this only here so if we have uh, 10 additional application servers so we each have to every, yeah each and every application server we have to change this one Okay. Means you have ten application server, one more entry, one more entry, one more entry, one more ten ten entries you will get. Which means okay. each each and every application server you have to change. So what you need to remember is just you need to remember the 